It doesn't take a lot to make a memorable impression. In fact, sometimes simple and understated can pack just the right punch. Welcome back to Studio 5. Pull out all of your small glass jars because my next guest is set to show how we can turn those humble vessels into a stunning centerpiece. Floral designer Bryn Larson is here. The bud vase is having a moment. It is, it is. It's, it's all over the place and it's so easy. You Simple. can totally do this at home. Do you like this little look? I do. I love like a lot of little things, <laughs> right? It like makes an impact when you have a lot of little things. Yeah. It looks eclectic. Like when I have people over to my house, I love to have little things for my house built into my table. So it just looks mm. like things that I've gathered along my way yeah. on my table to have everyone over. It just feels like yes. personal and I love it. You, so You have a serious assortment here. Like when we yes. say eclectic, you have mixed and matched and it is such a beautiful curation. Let's start with the vases. What works well for a grouping like this? Sure. So things with little, little tiny vases uh -huh. with a little opening uh -huh. means you don't need a ton of flowers. Mm. So if you're doing this at home and you don't want to spend a lot of money, find little bud vases. I like different textures, different heights. That's really how you're going to start building the layers. Different colors even. Different colors, What yeah. makes these work? I mean, clearly the, the, the clear glass is going to work with anything. Yes, and I love I love this with just like a little hint of color. Yeah. Um, kind of playing off the different colors of the flowers. Yeah. But I love that layered look with different colors of glass. You could add in, if you have little votive candles, you can add in, like, I'm going to show us how to add some flowers to like a little votive candle. Oh. So if you have like little containers yeah. around that you want to use. Okay. Um, you can do that. So I can show you a quick yeah. little tip that yeah. helps me a lot. These are sweet peas. These are one of my favorites. Now, they smell so good. Pause. Yes. Talk about purple. Purple. Purple is having a moment. Purple. Purple is everywhere. Purple and orange paired together. I'm seeing it everywhere in weddings. So weddings. if you want to be on trend. A purple, purple wedding. Can you believe it? It's not blush and bashful it's, anymore. We're, we're moving into purples and oranges purple. and peaches. Pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, so I don't know if you've ever tried to put flowers in a little vase at mm -hmm. home and it just falls out. Yes. It's really annoying. Right. So what I do is give them a little snip and then get a little hair elastic. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. So just put a little hair elastic around the stems. And they stay bunched. They stay bunched and then they don't fall out. The clear ones work really well too if you have a clear vase. Yeah. But you just put pop it in and then it stays bunched and it's not there falling it out all over the place. Well, what I'm realizing too looking at this is like full is what we're after. So if the size of your vase is small, if the vessel is itty bitty, as long as it's full and lush, which you just accomplished grouping those little stems together, then it looks complete. Totally, and it's so easy. So if you're doing this at home and Pretty you don't have a lot of design, flower design experience, mm -hmm. get all of one kind of flower and bunch it in each vase. So you're not trying to arrange mm -hmm. different things. You can just clump it together like this. I mean, I did that in two seconds. Yeah. Just clump it. It's like she needs to be up and, front. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and put it together and then you know, pairing the different little vases full of one kind of flower, I think is what's gonna make it really easy, but make it look really intentional and really pretty. So some of the bigger blooms, like the like the roses, yes. how would we, any arranging tips for those in a smaller container? Smaller container, just kind of rounded, um, you know, so you don't need to have all different heights. If you just kind of put them in your hand rounded uh -huh. and then give them a snip, if it's easier, you can definitely put like a hair elastic around them. Sure and then just put them in your vase. What flowers do you like, Bryn, for like the bud vase arrangement, the smaller set? I love, like, look how cute these little ranunculus oh, look in there. Oh, I love ranunculus. So easy. Just put a couple blooms in there. Such a frilly flower. Absolutely. Right now, if you have lilac in your yard, lilac is blooming everywhere. Everywhere mm -hmm. I drive, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's just, it's yeah. so pretty. So lilac, if you have the snowball viburnum, those work really well. Just go out in your yard and snip a couple things and drop them in bud vases, and it's so easy and it looks beautiful. It's such a happy touch that, and the way you've curated this and put it together with kind of the chiffon table runner and the candles, talk about the overall ensemble. I mean, you talked about little touches around the house. That right. certainly works and checks a really, you know, personal box, but if you're throwing an event or a shower of some kind, how could we pull this off? Absolutely, I think layering candles creates such a beautiful atmosphere. Tall taper candles that have a hint of color are huge right How now dramatic. too. Dramatic, <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm, these taper candles are my favorite. Um, just a little hint of that peach color to bring it together I think is beautiful. You could pull in votives if you have votive candles. Mm -hmm. Those like tall 
pillar candles that like prayer candles mm -hmm. that you can get at the grocery store. They're like a dollar. They're amazing. Layer some of those in. I was going to ask because yeah. the tapered candles, so it surprised me to learn they can be kind of expensive. They the can colored be really ones at expensive. least. Yeah. So where are you getting the taller prayer candle? Um, they have just the tall, like in the glass prayer candles yeah. at like the grocery store. Okay. Yeah. Or you could go to like the religious supply stores. Mm -hmm. They have some of those prayer candles that people like leave on, yeah. on grave sites and so things. So you get the height. Mm -hmm. You get the height without the expense. Of the color. Yeah. yeah. Because some of these can really add up. They add. I love it. Good, good for what kind of an event? A baby shower, a wedding baby shower. Baby shower, dinner. I love to have friends over in my backyard for charcuterie. Oh. And to just add a couple bud vases yeah. in between your charcuterie just takes it up a whole other and level. Who needs and it's an event? So it's, easy. it's lovely living, right? Yeah, absolutely. Lovely absolutely. living. All right, I where can that. we go to see more of your work or to place an order for all of the fun events we have sure, coming up? Sure, you can find us at Blooms and Company either online or at our shop on 39th and Highland. How many Highlands. weddings are on the books right now? So many. Who even knows? <laughs> I can't even think about it. But 20% of them have purple flowers. That's exactly. so interesting to I know. me. Great, it's coming back. Great inspiration for the at-home Thank forest. You Thank so you so much.